Today we're going to learn how to install the TMC5160 on the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.2. So I'm going to zoom in on the actual stepper so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about right now. So as you can see right here, we have a TMC5160 and the enable pin is located right here. And then over here, we have the actual SPI on the resistor. So that tells us that it's a SPI stepper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to figure out where to install this and how to install this. So I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit more and then out. And what I'm trying to talk about is the steppers. So we have our X stepper, our Y stepper, our Z stepper, which has two ports. This one currently is covered because it's not being used, but if you take out those, you can use it. We have our E0 stepper, our E1 stepper, and then our E2 stepper for our extruders. So in this case, when you're using this, there's a jumper right here that's for direct power. If you move it over to the USB power and run it, your steppers will not work correctly, so it has to be on direct power. But what we're concerned with right now is actually the jumpers. We need to verify what they are. So I'm going to take you over to the web browser for a second and we'll see what it actually looks like. Right here, I have the website for GitHub and it's for the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.1. But there's a subfolder called SKR Pro and inside here we have a manual. So we can click on the manual for a second. And this will bring it up for us. So I'm going to scroll down kind of quick for a second and show you a couple of things while I do it. So as you can see right here, this is the actual jumper I was talking about. This is direct power. Then down here, we have our actual board laid out and it talks about which actual ports you can use for your Z stepper for your motors. Then down below, we have our pinout diagram so we can find our enable pin, which we needed to know and which one it is, which is right here. And it's for each stepper they mark it. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further and I'm gonna to start to show you the stepper types. We have step dir, which is step direction. We also have UART mode. And then a little further down, we have spy mode. So here are the jumpers we need to set. So let's go back over and see what it looks like here. So it looks like all the steppers are currently set for us. So we're all good there. So we're gonna pick up one of the steppers. This one has a cooling set of fins on it. Also use a fan to keep these cool because they get kind of hot. And we have yellow on one side and black on the other. So we know that it's going to go this way based on the enable pin. So let me line it up correctly and install it. And that's all you have to do. We do have to power it though. So over here we have the motor power and then we have the board power. And notice how I marked the actual screws as uh, red for voltage and the other ones are unmarked and that's ground. I'm going to plug in the actual stepper motor connection over here just so I don't forget. But I'm going to show you now how to connect these. So the red is going to be your voltage off your power supply or PSU. So I'm going to slide that in and tighten this down for safety. Then I'm going to do the same for the ground. And then I'm going to do the actual board power and I'm running off of 12 volts of power. That's what I prefer, but others prefer, what is it, uh, 24 volts. So I'm going to slide this in and tighten that all up and close it. So now to load the actual firmware, we can't load it via USB, so we have to use a converter. So I'm going to open this up, pop out the SD drive, and slide it in here. Just so you know, though, no one is paying me or sponsoring me to do these tutorials. 
but I will place Amazon affiliate links in the description for your convenience to find these things. So I'm going to plug that in and then on the computer, I'm going to go over to VS Code and inside VS Code, I need to set this up. So I'm going to make it so you can see this a little bit better. So I'll click on the Explorer, then open folder. I'll go to my downloads, my Marlin folder, then my next Marlin folder. Note that I did download this from Marlin's website, which is marlinfw.org, and then extracted it. So now I'm going to hit the select button to open this up. And after this opens, we have to set up our board. So I'm going to click on Marlin source core boards.h. Inside here, I'm going to search on SKR underscore pro. And here's our board right below the SKR version 1.1, which is 1.2 in our case. So we're going to copy that. Close out of boards.h, minimize core source, then go to configuration.h and search on motherboard. And we're going to highlight the ramps board and paste over it what we just copied. Next, we have to change the serial port to negative one. And to set up our stepper now, we have to search on the A4988. And here, we're going to have to remove the comment from this line so we can use it and then find our stepper, which is the TMC5160, and copy that, and then paste it right here. Once that's done, we may have to configure our steps, and depending upon where your end stop is, you may have to do inverting, but I'll show you that in a moment. But let's first go over to configuration advanced.h and search on 800. And you may have to search a couple of times to get you to here. And this is our X stepper. So I need to show you the relationship between these. This is set to 80 and this is set to 16. So if we change this to 160, then we have to change this to 32. That's just to match them up. If we change this to 320, then we have to change this to 64. So that can go all the way up to 256 of a step, depending upon your stepper. So over here though, we need to change our resistor sense because we have a different one. So the value is 0 0.075. So now that we have that set up, we're gonna set up debugging. So I'm gonna search on TMC underscore debug, and I'm gonna remove the comment for monitor driver status. And as you can see, it's M122 is the G code we're gonna be interested in later on to check that our install is good. So we have to search one more time on this and remove the comment for TMC debugging down here. Then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna search on TMC use software spy and remove the comment for that and then the other settings in here for your stealth chop I'll let you figure these out on your own I'm just trying to get you up and running so there are different things you can do like hybrid mode but I'm gonna skip over that for now so let's go back to configuration.h for a second and search on inverting and what you're gonna use this for is if your end stop is in the wrong direction that it's moving, you can change the false to a true or the true to the false depending upon what your configuration is and it will switch the direction. So to set up the actual build, we have to go over to platformio.ini and our default environment needs to be corrected because this is the one that's default. So I'm gonna search on SKR underscore pro and that'll bring us to our environment so I'll copy that then I'll scroll to the top and I'll paste that where the mega 2560 is once I'm done with that I'm gonna actually click the little garbage can down here to clean in case there's anything in our dot PIO folder see how it's got the mega in there 
So let's clean it. And then we'll check again, see if it's gone, which it is. And now we'll build, which is the checkbox. Now your build may fail on the very first time you try it. That's okay, it usually does happen. But click the checkbox a second time. And the reason that probably occurs is that they have something off in their build order. So something did build, but then something was out of order. But if it happens a third time, then go to your very first error, correct what it is, and then compile. Because the ones after it may be a cascade of errors that occurred due to the first one. So this looks like it's building. So let's look at the .pio folder again. And you'll see it's starting to populate with our board. And we have our firmware.bin. So I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to go to reveal in file explorer. Now I'm going to right click again and I'm going to send it to our D drive. And over on our D drive you can see that we had a build that we did at 9.26 p.m. and installed because it renamed it firmware.cur in all capital letters. And then we have our binary file for firmware.bin. If that's successful it will rename it and change the time to the time of its build as it will be firmware.cur with the time of 9.56 p.m. So now that that's all set, let's go back to our desktop. We're gonna take out the drive. We're gonna insert it into here. Now the power is on direct power, but you will see an LED light up when you plug this in. Now I'll plug in the power and so far so good. So let's go over to Pronerface in a moment and see what this looks like. So in Pronerface, as you can see, it's set to COM port 1. Now there may be the correct COM port here. It depends upon if it's been uh, stored or not. But usually it'll find it if you just open it up. But in this case, we want to verify it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up Device Manager. And inside Device Manager, what I'm looking for, let me pull this over, is the actual COM port. So in this case, it is COM port 17, which COM port 1 is the one that's default to every computer. So we're going to select the drop down for that. Now you can type it in if you would like, then click connect. And now it says connecting. Printer is now online. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test the stepper by doing M122 with our G code. And what it says here is that it tested and it's okay. So we're good to go. So let's go over and try and move the actual stepper. So I'm going to move it 10. So it looks like it's moving fine. Just keep in mind that I'm not using end stops. <clears throat> but it is moving just fine. So this can be used for bigger steppers, depending upon what the current rating is on their data sheets. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.